Hey, good morning, everyone. Last 30 minutes of the competition. It's going great. Um, what would you expect? I got the uh, corrupted town right here with these stands. And uh, let's see. Good morning, Rachel. Hello, Marty. Good evening, all. Ultimate Acid, hey. Ultimate Acid says, hey, everyone. Great job on the comp tub. Thank you. So the rate is 268.5 per hour. Actually, I guess I got a spinning T three hours ago, so it refreshed. Uh, but yeah, pretty much 268 per hour. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, let me get this on. Okay. And what, what do you think my rate is? Actually, some of you already know my rate. <laughs> it's not much of a surprise, is it? My uh, rank, I mean, rates 268 per hour on Cabernet Sauvignon. Rank is rank 13th. I did manage to pass the coordinator, so that's cool. Barely, barely passed them up. Did not get top 10. Uh, I thought I'd be able to, but then I noticed this natty person is way ahead of us, basically. Like, there's no way I can catch up to natty. Uh, but it's all cool, rank 13, so easy top 25 for me on this one. I see homeboys at 27. Oh, oh Town's making it at 25. Nice. Cool. Arden, what rank are you at right now? Mega Yak, hi, Mafia, hello. So next week, no meta. We do what we choose. That's exactly right. But... Um, there's some options that are better than others. I'll just put it at that. Martin had a few T as well. When I saw a refresh, uh, told you it would be higher again. I am on, uh, I, I have Google Chrome up right now. Google Chrome browser. So I'm running, uh, like Warlord Guild's refresh script. Uh, the one Crypto Dude made. So shout out to Crypto Dude for that. It's been working just fine. Every time I get a spending tea, the game refreshes like two minutes later. Uh, one or two minutes later, yeah. Andrew Conley, hello. Hopefully everybody finished high in the competition. Yes, I hope so. Martin, 578 or so for me. Nice, nice, nice. Rachel, wild top 15, congrats. Thank you. This is going to be my highest rank so far at 13. It is still in the top 25 prize bracket this is like the fourth time i've gotten top 25 prize bracket it, it's cool though yeah, yeah it's fine uh that's pretty much what i expected to be at for this competition so i'll take it martin i see script on top i have same right <laughs> yeah so i'm not gonna be here in front of my computer 24 7 okay like i want to sleep peacefully I don't have to have spinning tea nightmares. Which, uh, I, I guess it disconnected like three hours ago. That was, um... Yeah, I think I was asleep three hours ago. <laughs> Just woke up like two hours ago. Gala Gaming, hello. Grats on the uh, spot on Leeboard dub. You deserved it. Thank you. Thank you. It went well. Everything went well. Um... Despite having to restart a day later because of the Amazon web server issue, I did make a few improvements. Uh, the rush didn't actually go better. I, th I think this rush took longer than the first one. Uh, but I think those improvements... I, I want to say they helped out, but either way, I'm pretty sure if I didn't make any improvements, I still would have been top 25. Maybe I would have been around the 24 to 20 area. If I had to guess. Uh, but sure, I'll take the improvements. Or maybe not even. I probably would have been just a few ranks below. You know, if I didn't make those improvements, Coordinator would have beat me. That's what it is. <laughs> it's the only difference. Troy Mills, hey! Currently at 1,043. I tweaked your non enough T build to get to 80 per hour. Got as high as 905 before starting to slip. Okay, alright. At least you're in the top 1,200 zone. That's good. Uh, so... I am 
that proves that my no NFT build was good enough for top 1200, right? 78 per hour should have been enough for top 1200. I guess it depends how long it took you to make the build, but assuming it just took you a day to make it, then you should have been able to get top 1200 with that. And yes, like uh, Troy said, hopefully you were able to improve it even farther than that. Um, I guess with enough improvements, you probably get to push somewhere in the top 800, top 900 area. And then again, Troy, like, I don't know how many spinning T's affected you or anything. Martin, I le uh, left of the script. I have LWG counting T, uh, so I guess it's the two script doing it each job. Oh yeah, uh, I know what you mean. I don't have that up here. Uh, I don't really care about how many spinning T's I got. Juicy's T close to the top 10 dub. Congrats. Thank you. Not really even that close. Uh, Natty had a pretty good gap. Look, look at the Zebor, Amarthil, and Natty. They all had about the same score. Uh, there's a huge gap between 8 and 7, as you can see. I think top 7 have the... Basically, the wine bottle rush and the Cabernet stands. They have the whole set. That's where they're able to pull way farther ahead. Uh, than anybody else. Yeah. Crystal DW fan, hello. Martin, also not an NFT build, but uh oh, but with rare effect for mines, two junior skins and ornaments. Of course, all of that helps out. Congrats on 13th place. Thank you so much. So yeah, like I said, I didn't make any tweaks. This is the same build, so I'm not really going to go over the build again. Um, most of you guys already saw me build this live for like two days in a row. <laughs> um, but we can talk a little bit about the next competition. Uh, standard rules or vanilla meta as people call it. What are you guys planning on making? I do want to know. I know that not everybody's going to go for the best option, which is, in my opinion, stack boxes. But what are you guys planning on making? And do you think it's going to be enough for top 1200? I am curious. Because uh, I've seen some people say, oh, they just want to make uniforms. I really don't think uniforms will cut it. I would rather they go to four fabric boxes. But hey, who knows, right? Troy, fastest build ever, started at 11 a.m. Uh, amount of time on Wednesday. Finish build at midnight with only a couple hours away from my computer for dinner and sports activities. That's great. Yeah, the build took me like three or four hours, which is, uh, well, this one took me four hours, which is, I guess, average. I, I have done builds in three hours. Uh, it just depends on the setup. I don't think this is the fastest build in my opinion, but, uh, I'm sure it's, it's faster than a stack box build. That's for sure. Rachel, haven't decided. Okay. Martin, have 10 winery, 3 less tractors, and 399 wine. Awesome. I almost touched that 100 per hour zone. Shots, hello. Congrats on 13th. Well deserved. Thank you. Gala Gaming, I don't know if Blue Steel will be good for 500 plus spot. No way, Gala Gaming. I don't think Blue Steel will be enough for top 500. Unless you have a crazy good blue steel build, maybe you can get top 1200. I really don't... <laughs> like, if I'm being honest, top 500, like 99% of people are going to be making stack boxes on top 500. That's, that's not like facts, that's my opinion, my speculation. Crystal DW fan, um, 1193, hope I stay in top 1200. Hope so too, I mean with 20 minutes to go. You should be good though. Martin, see how much effort and price is small. I think I take a break. <laughs> yeah, no problem. It's uh, like the. It might be a lot of effort. Next competition. It might be. Troy, uh, bicycles, my initial thought may change after doing some more analysis. Bicycles is a. It's a good option. The tweets, I will test stack box if I make. Four, I'll go for it. Otherwise, I'll go for the gift parcel. You think you can make four per hour on Stackbox? With no NFTs, I that's impossible as far as I know. Uh, with enough NFTs, it could be possible. So uh, I don't know if you can make it that uh, far, but let me know. 
Rachel, I wish we had more time to prepare. Me too. Yeah, we pretty much... What do we have? It's Saturday. Sun, we have, uh, like, I guess three days. If you want to... Yeah, from end to start, three days. We needed the full four days for this next competition. It's uh, going to be tough. I don't even know uh, what exactly I'll do. I mean, I'm thinking of doing like a mix of wine bottles and stack boxes. But I've not completely decided just yet. WC uh, looks like I'm finishing at about 370. Uh, first time below 400 since early May. Nice. WC, uh, it, Pokari, right? That's your username or am I wrong? Crystal, I'm probably going to torture myself and do stack boxes. <laughs> uh, you're probably right. It is torture. Um, it's like the most competitive option though. I don't see another way. I have looked at the items. The numbers. Unless they're tricking us, then yeah, stack box is the way to go. I mean, some people said they wanted standard rules. And I, they don't realize that standard rules, well, the best option is stack boxes. They didn't, they didn't realize that. Sure, you could do other things, but they're not going to beat stack boxes. Duke says, I don't know if my brain uh, can handle stack box. I don't know either. <laughs> uh, yes, Bukhari. Okay. Uh, and I have a lot of the right NFTs for stack box. I'm going to go for that. There's a lot of NFTs I can help you for stack boxes because, like, uh, some people have pointed out, almost every single craft at the same time. Almost. Almost every single crap. So yeah, there's a lot of NFTs that'll help out with stack boxes. Especially if you have a different variety of NFTs. Yeah, it'll help out. Rachel, I hope the new biome is ready to go as soon as the competition is over. Me too. That way we can get started right away. Um, I haven't actually designed anything. I'm, I still have to come up with ideas. Honestly, I am going to look back at my no NFT stack box build that I made last November. Uh... I might do something similar to that, but maybe make it less messy. The rate might not be as good, or maybe it'll be better. I just do not know right now. But I'll try something out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. People want to see a no NFC stack box build, so yeah, that is what I'm thinking of making. Don't know how far ahead I'll get in that, though. Like, I don't know how much time I'll have to actually you know, practice and tweak it. That matters a whole lot. I also don't want to make these builds perfect. Like, they're they're meant to be example showcases. Uh, you're supposed to be improving upon them. I know that's kind of hard to do sometimes, but that's the whole point. I'm not trying to give you perfect builds, just build ideas. Uh, if you were to copy it, I would assume it would be just enough for top 1200, but that would be just about where it gets you. Uh, so far, hasn't seemed to disappoint. Uh, I would say all the no NFT builds I've shared so far are good enough to at least get somebody into the price bracket. As long as they know what they're doing and they don't take forever making the build, then yeah. Uh, last announcement I'm going to make about this. The giveaway for the Hatchet Hank Jr. ends in just about 5 minutes. The Discord giveaway bot is going to automatically notify the winner. And... I'll also let you know on stream. I'll be paying attention to that right here. Uh, so we have 199 entries. <laughs> Just about 200 entries. So uh, there you go. Uh, best of luck. Uh, hopefully somebody here on the live stream gets it. But uh, yeah, you never know. So. And hopefully if you do get it, it's uh, going to help you out a lot. I don't know. Maybe some of you already have three hatch tanks. But hey, if you win, you win how it goes uh rachel what race should we be aiming for realistically what is a decent amount of nfts uh four nfts uh see if i had to kind of like guess no nfts i would aim for between 1.5 and 2 per hour i think that would be great with nfts it <sighs> There's so many NFTs that go into that build that it's really hard to tell. Anywhere between like 2.5 to 5 per hour. 
and that's kind of just speculation like i haven't looked over the numbers again i know there's a lot of new nfts since we did that competition like we have the ghost cards uh those help a lot but yeah you know there's other nfts that just been introduced fancy milk barns the sheep pens what else? I can't think of any else, uh, any other ones at the top of my head. But yeah, it's just really hard to give you an example. Rate Gala Gaming. Uh, to be honest, they should have buffed every meta to be near side box stars and then compete with your best build on whatever meta you want. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. That's not the point of standard rules, though. That would just be some kind of other meta. But I understand what you're saying. Troy Mills, in previous video, you mentioned you thought one stack box per hour will get you into the top 1200. Is that with no NFTs? Yes. I still honestly believe that if you, if you can do half stack box per hour and sell a batch, you should be able to get to top 1200 for this next competition. I just feel like there's not going to be 1200 people out there making stack boxes. There probably is only going to be 500 or 600 people. Uh, it's, it's a really hard build. <laughs> Even though I basically gave people an example build, I not everybody even went for it. Like I'm not saying don't I'm not saying go ahead and copy my build, but some people could have just copied, but they decided nah, this is too much. They're not even gonna bother copying it. They just went ahead and did uniforms or something else. <laughs> so there's so there's top twelve hundred, but I do not expect twelve hundred people to be doing stack boxes. As long as you sell a batch for two batches, you should be good. Uh, I, one stack box per hour is definitely doable, though, uh, with a decent build. Yeah, balancing it is uh, rough. Crypto nerd, hello. Only three mil away from you. So close. I see you rank 16. Hey, you're doing great, Crypto nerd. That's amazing. Bukhari, I think my Easy Dough Bakery and Strawberry Sands will be big for uh, the oh, party parcel, food parcel. Yeah, it also help out for sure. But yeah, I also have that Strawberry Stand. I guess I could use that. I don't actually know if it'll save me any space for stack boxes, but it does make balancing a little easier. The tweets last time I made 3.3 stack box per hour. Now I'm better with the numbers. That's amazing. I didn't even make that much last time. Uh, Granted, my build was super messy. So yeah, yours was probably better. I think four is possible, but NFT's build may uh, get the best the comp of all. Oh, okay. It's, I suppose it is. With with NFT's, right? With a couple. Crypto Nerd, what's your target for what? Stack boxes? I have no clue. Also, Crypto Nerd, um, in that competition, I do plan to create a full wine bottle rush setup because all those wine bottles actually do give me a good amount of stars but with like the other 75 percent of the build i'm gonna do stack boxes so my build is gonna be like a hybrid of wine bottles and stack boxes that's what i'm planning to do right now uh, just because i think it, it would give me more stars doing it like that the tweet the problem with nft builds uh will be balanced because the crafts are so slow I think balance is going to be an issue no matter what. It's just such a headache. Thanks, buddy. No problem. Uh, winner for the Hatchet Hang Jr. will be announced in just about a minute or under a minute. There's 200 entries exactly. That's awesome. What, that's uh, what? 0.5% chance. There's a 0.5% chance. There's a 0.5% chance of your winner. Can't even talk. Uh, let's see. Who's the winner? And he's any second now. Okay, any second. Let's see. Who are we congratulating? Wow, this is a long minute. Okay, any second. <laughs> Doing the exam the 200 guy. <laughs> nice. Only one winner. I must have just seen it before the minute ended. Yeah, yeah. Okay, winner's been announced. Congratulations, Joyful. You won the Hatchet Hank Jr. 
Uh, I'm not even sure who that is, but congratulations, Joyful. Um, I don't even know if you're watching this, but to the winner, just send me a DM on Discord. Uh, I just need the Ethereum wallet address that you want me to send the NFT to. And I will send it to you so long as we're not in the middle of the competition. I don't like sending NFTs while in the competition. Uh, so either do it in the next three days, or if not, I'll get back to you after the next competition. But yeah, let me know. Congratulations, Joyful. Who is that? I don't know, but they're on the Discord. <laughs> Unix says congrats, yeah. Thanks everybody for participating in that giveaway. Of course, um, I like doing the giveaways. Uh, I like giving people an opportunity. So I'll continue to do them um, as often as I can. Uh, one way you can help support me with that is if you ever decide to buy anything from the Gala Games store, uh, totally your choice. Uh, but you can use the affiliate link in the description of the video where I also have them on the Talonstar playbook. Uh, I do receive some commission from that and then I can use those uh, some of those funds on giveaways as well. And uh, I'm also thinking of like uh maybe i can start buying some of these nfts to make videos on how to how they actually work in game and then give it give them away after that um that, that there's an idea right there i haven't completely decided if i'm gonna do that but i am thinking about it the so tweets if i have nfts i would place every nft in the beginning <laughs> every single one what about the ones that you're gonna place a valentine's uh stand in the very beginning to tweets how's that gonna help you out uh, unless you're doing jam rush, I guess. You know what? I'm not gonna argue with your logic. Andrew says, "Congrats, joyful, harshul, vishe, and everyone in such giveaway." There's always a chance. Uh, I feel you, harshul. I barely win giveaways ever. Maybe I've only ever won once. Do have I? I don't even remember. You know what, harshul? I don't know if I've ever won a giveaway. <laughs> but there's always an opportunity. So we've only got a couple minutes before this competition ends. Uh, after this, I am... Uh, hmm, well, maybe I'll, I'll probably take a short break. But then I'll come back, try to figure out what I'm going to do for a no NFT stack box build. Like I said, I'm probably going to look over my uh, design that I made a couple months back. I do know we're getting a river this time, so that's going to help out. We are getting the mountain still, which is kind of useless. I, I don't think you need the mountain for stack boxes. Um, you would think you do because you, there's like three mines involved. You need iron, limestone, and chromium. But you barely need any iron, limestone, and chromium. You actually want to slow them down. Uh, so I don't know how I'm going to go about the mountain just yet. Martin, one of the boxes in stack is jam with bread and all right. Uh, well, let me try to clarify that. One of the boxes, Martin, is a party box. The party box has a food parcel. The food parcel has jam, baguette, and honey. That's what you're referring to. So you gotta make the food parcel. Then you gotta make the gift parcel, which is even harder. Then you gotta put them together to make the party box. Then you need to make a fabric box. Then you need to make a supply box. Then you put them all together to make a stack box. I know I'm probably giving you a headache, sorry, but there's so many steps after that. The, the, the part Martin mentioned is probably one of the easier steps. Crystal stack box meta pain, here we come. <laughs> right. Martin, jam is strawberry, right? Yes, uh, you make jam in the bakery. You need strawberries and sugar and uh, water drum, which preferably you want that water drum to be passive for the bakery. Unix, uh, how much stars for Sushi Boat Stub? You know what? I don't think I ever found out. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, Farmer Michelle has an actual file with the in-game values. And that's where I was going to get that value from because I don't feel like crafting a sushi boat in game. And I have no way to actually get it from like the coding game. Uh, there used to be a way in Townstar Legacy to actually look at those values. But in this version, I don't believe there is or I just haven't 
uh, uh, bother to figure it out. I'll find that eventually. If not, somebody can let me know, but I'm pretty sure I'll find it. It's, uh, I'm looking at it for it right now. Okay, I think I did find the file. Let me see if they have it on here. Are you actually planning to cross sushi boats? Because I think sushi boats are a uh, pain. <laughs> no, it's not even in Farmer Michelle's file. <laughs> Unix, we have no clue how many Star Sushi boats gift, okay? Nobody needs to bother to figure it out anymore. I have no clue. Farmer Michelle has no clue. Nobody has a clue, okay? You know, is it even possible to craft sushi boats right now? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it's possible to craft sushi boats. Um, you need... No, Qnix, we do not have the items in game right now to even craft sushi boats. I don't believe it's possible. We don't even. I don't think we even have the sushi restaurant. No, we don't. No wonder. Okay, sushi boats is not in the game right now. You can't actually craft it. Uh, they said. I guess they said um, they didn't have time to actually finish working on that. But it'll come to the game uh, later. I'm thinking of going for summon a gear. Okay. Well, I know the points for that are on the playbook. Val uh, Valentine's stand is strawberry as I thought. Yeah, that's right. It is. Um, but one Valentine's stand is not enough for all the strawberries you need for jam. You actually need two Valentine's stands. So unfortunately, now that Martin reminds me, I'm still going to need to grow strawberries to actually make jam. The one single Valentine's stand isn't going to be enough. That's unfortunate. I don't even think the Valentine's stand is even worth it unless you have two of them. Uh, for stack boxes specifically. Grassmere, hello Dub. Uh, found this one hard to move up. Don't think I moved uh, to Quine quick enough. I'm going to finish at 5.57, my worst position since May. Well done uh, to you for doing so well. Thank you. Uh, 5.57, I mean, you're in a better position than most people, but, but I get you. I mean, hopefully better luck next time, right? Uh, I'm guessing it just took you too long to finish the build. Pretty much what you said, huh? Uh, Pokari, the last time I did Sidebox, I just had two or three NFTs, and now I have 100, 125. That's a huge jump. Totally new layout to work out. Ah, uh, that's true. Yeah, it's not a game. Okay. Uh, Kinex. Oh, yeah, yeah, Simon Nigiri. Yeah, yeah, I read that one. Uh, Crystal, I can't wait for offline play to be live. Me too, that would be great. Uh, by the sounds of it, Crystal, they say next week but they did say middle to next at uh, the end of next week so they probably mean the end of next week so they probably mean after the competition ends so hopefully right after that competition ends we can actually test out and uh well yeah see if the town offline option is available and actually i'm pretty sure some people want to test it out competition ends in two minutes i'm not gonna move in the ranking 13th. I already knew I was gonna end in 13th since like uh like a couple hours ago when I woke up. Martin, do you understand what I meant? Every NFT is a strawberry sand. I had to ask seeing I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean you can place down almost every NFT and I guess it'll help you out. Rachel, yeah, you need two Valentine sands to do jam or else you'll still need to grow them. And you don't even need that much jam. So I guess I have a Valentine sand, but like now that Martin Rachel pointed out, I'm probably still going to need to grow strawberries. There probably won't even need, be any need to waste a spot for the Valentine's stand. I guess it would help uh, speed up my bakery, but I don't know. I'll figure, it, I'll figure that out later. One minute till the competition ends. Alex, need a lot of work for Stackbox. That is true. Very true. Amy, hello, uh, competition just ended. Amy, have you been affected by tea attack? Let me put this on now. Uh, yeah, I, I get spinning teas, but I am running a refresh script, so anytime there's a spinning tea, the game just refreshes. Neymar Jr., when next giveaway? Uh, stay tuned, that's all I can say. Martin, I am too serious, but here it was funny, okay. 
But that's it for the Life is Wonderful NF uh, competition. Apparently, that's what they called it. Ranked 13. Yeah, can't even say it. 13, I just barely beat Coordinator. Shout out to Coordinator. Uh, congratulations, everybody who got top 1200. This is uh, like a medium difficulty meta. Some people said it was the hardest one they've ever done. Uh, no, this is like in the medium. Next week, if you decide to do side boxes, that's probably the hardest one you ever do. But, um, I guess you're not forced to. Since it's, uh, standard rules, I guess. Choose your own. Oh, sorry, that's the, uh, that's the script going off. I'm gonna keep doing that, so... Let me see if I can refresh it. <laughs> see script on casual, you will get alarmed. You're right. Let me put it on casual. I think I have the, um, oh, now it's showing that. I think I have my, uh, normal build on casual. You know, it shouldn't do the alarm on none, though. Oh, I guess it does the alarm because I'm on this menu. Okay, I'll go on casual. Let's see what we got. I think it should be my same build. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the same build. I don't know if I made any adjustments to... Yeah, I think on my competition build, I had one more winery. That's right. I do believe I had like one more winery. That's the only adjustment that I uh, made. But this is the design I practiced for my competition. Uh, pretty much the same thing. Uh, I didn't have the pave road here, but I ended up putting the pave road there. And yeah, when I practiced this, it was doing like 260 something. I didn't have enough time to actually practice it to know my real rate in the competition. But uh, as I said in the beginning of the live stream, my real rate was 268.5 per hour. Uh, Amy, where do I get the script? Uh, I'm using the Lycan Warlord Guild uh, refresh script by Crypto Dude. I would have to point you and refer you to Lycan's video on the actual script. He explains how to use it and how to actually download it. I don't really, it's not my script to, I guess I could showcase it if I really uh, wanted to, uh, but Lycan already made a really good video on that. So I would have to just, it would be better. I would be better off just pointing people to his video. Uh, and I think he has the file in his Discord server as well. Uh, if you don't, uh, well, there's two refresh skips. There's this one, and I think Oizis also has another one. And you can check Oizis' profile on the Gala Games Discord. Uh, you can probably just search up his name, and you'll be able to see it on his profile. He has the script there you can download. Morris, it's uh, Townstar Resident Evil, the T-Virus. <laughs> Neymar, you didn't win? What rank were you at? Or, uh, oh, you mean the giveaway? That's probably what you meant. Actually, I don't know. Crystal had a uh, rank 1192. Congratulations. Alex, can I send you some layout for Cybox? You can help me if you got some time. Alex, I'm probably not going to be that much help right now. Um, let me actually focus on my Stackbox build. And then from there, I can get a better idea of what needs to be balanced. But Guys, if you send me a design for Stackbox, like, you know, I try to help you out as much as I can. But Stackbox is such a complicated build to balance. I'm not going to be able to tell how balanced your build is just by looking at the screenshot, okay? That build is way too hard to balance. I have no clue what your rate's going to be. It's just so hard on that build. So I might not be able to help you out on that one if I'm being completely honest. I can try to help some people out, but I... Do not know if I'll be able to. I really don't think so. Uh, Martin, with me, it does not always go to casual, even though I set it up. Well, sometimes you have to refresh the page. Uh, but yeah. Amy, thank you. Go look, no problem. Martin just checked. Uh, Fancy Cal, 28 seconds normal, 24 with the rare effect. Oh, yeah, yeah. The ghost card helps out there. I was testing this with all my. Yeah, I was testing this with all my skin. No. Oh, I know. I didn't apply the ones that, that uh, don't do anything. Okay, uh, just making sure. I didn't, I don't remember if I had all my NFTs placed down when I was actually practicing this, but um, you know that's all I got. So I'm gonna uh, like take a small break and then I'll come back, uh, start designing, try to design a no NFT stack box build. Look at my uh, 
previous no nft build which i'll uh i'll share that on my discord i know some people have already seen it but i'll share it on my discord in case uh there's people out there that still haven't seen it and they want to get an idea for it right away uh it's, a, it's an old video but it, it's not that bad it should still be able to help out but uh let's see anything else here Mm, nope that should be just about all i got so appreciate everybody coming by to hang out and i hope the competition went well for everyone um hopefully you got an idea of what to do in the next competition if not i will work on a no nt stack box build design idea to hopefully give you an idea um that will either get you to that point or maybe you can decide to just get to food parcel or gift parcel or party box or something take care dub thank you crystal thank you rachel goodbye everyone appreciate your support and thanks for watching the live stream bye bye